Welcome to Octane Mobile Gaming. Welcome once again to Octane Mobile Gaming. Or if it's your first time here, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. And if the information is uh, helpful, please leave a like on the video. So today I've got three combinations for you. Uh, one of the combinations, I've got three different variation. This is one variation. This one works um, okay. Uh, this one uses uh, keepers, protectors of history. Thank, sorry. Protectors of Prosperity, Keepers of History, Hearth and Drake, which is the current ultimate form. I did decide to craft the ultimate form because it's a good damage dealer. Um, however, within um, Earth Slayer decks, we haven't got really good cards in the Hearth Slayer deck. We've got cards that can deal massive damage, but it's just a one time offer. So you get a massive bang on the first attack and then all attack afterwards is disappointing basically the next combination we've got keepers of history again but this one uses professor tumbly rather than um punjari rashmid and the next combination uses um terrors unleash instead of punjari or um Professor Tumbly. The next combination is a non event combination. This one uses Aberil Overseers as the card that's going to give you the killer skill. The main damage dealer will be Hard Won Gorillas, Keepers of History is there, and Protectors of Prosperity. The next combination is also a non event combination, and this one uses Keepers of History again, Protectors of Prosperity, Aberil. Aboreal Overseers, Master, Metaverse Master, and High Performance Unit Area. Now, this combination is an event combination. It's similar to this one, however, it uses Earth and Drake, which is the current ultimate form, as the main damage dealer. Both these combinations are focusing most of its attack boost and damage boost on the immortal killer card that we've got as the lead card on both of these combinations this combination i tried it out uh, this combination if you haven't got metaverse master you could use this combination however you have to use earth and drake earth and drake as the card that you're going to activate first because this card will give you 100 percent damage increase to the first card to activate their battle skill so this is a combination that you could try as well i'm not going to showcase all the combination because i don't want to make the video too long the activation sequence on this one is a bit different from this one so this one you're going to activate our performance unit areas battle skill first the turn before you get hit you take the hit the next card that you're going to activate is keepers of history metaverse master is the next card that you're going to activate then earth and drake and last but not least protectors of prosperity i'm going to go straight into the event see if we can actually find some bosses to actually um attack uh, so we've got one here. So the first combination that I'm going to use is the combination that is quite quick, quite fast. So this is the combination I'm going to use first with Punjari. Three keys we're going to go in with. This combination does really good damage. The damage does fluctuate between anything from 13 quadrillion up to about 45 to 50 quadrillion depending on the layout of your power gems so we're going to activate first and foremost punjari then metaverse masters then we're going to activate earth and drake protectors of history keepers of history and protectors of prosperity and the reason why i activated the cards in that order is so that i can actually get a decent power gem layout so 28 quadrillion for the main damage dealer on that attack which is which wasn't too bad it would have been nice if this card had say a bonus attack buff the bonus attack buff then would deal the 28,000 again which would be quite good but is a nice ultimate form does do quite a, a, a 
lot of damage because it's got that self boost of 150 percent um self damage increase the next combination is quite similar to the one that we just used this one uses um professor tumbly and professor tumbly what it's going to do for your deck it's going to upgrade all power gems by two rank when you're ambushing so most of these cards are cards that ambush so you got the first card up which is keepers of history does a upgrade when it's ambushing you've got metaverse master then you've got the next one that's gonna an, an ambush on it as well that just delays the enemy turn count by one and then you've got professor tumbly and then you've got uh, protectors of prosperity now this bang is 27.3 quadrillion which is quite similar to the combination that we just had before so that com both combination deals roughly about the same amount of damage because they're quite similar the difference between the two is punjari will give you an extra 2000 percent um attack increase when you're ambushing and percent professor tumbly just gives you a double upgrade when you're ambushing so the next one up we're going to use is this one we've only got one card in this combination that gives up two cards on this combination gives us an upgrade however because we're using the current ultimate form as the lead card and we've got amy's sword of of um excellence on board uh the upgrade skill won't you won't benefit from the upgrade skill there we go won't up, up, uh, benefit from the upgrade skill on this combination if it wasn't the lead card and you didn't have metaverse master on board you'd benefit from the upgrade skill but currently 49 quadrillion for this one so this one is vastly more powerful but however that uh, amount of damage you will not get on the second attack so the second attack will go right down simply because you lose your ambush on all the cards that gives you something extra when it's ambushing so let's take a look at that combination in a bit more detail so you've got keepers of history so keepers of history what it will do for you it will create eight earth power gem sevens it will increase earth slayer's attack by 100 percent for three turns that's what it will do for you on every single activation of its battle skill apart from the first activation now on the first activation of your battle skill you'll get something extra because it's actually ambushing what will happen is when you're ambushing it will upgrade all our power gems to two rank higher so this and make twice the amount of power gems so it makes twice the amount of power gems that it normally makes so it gives you 16 earth power gem sevens and it will give you a double upgrade so you can see the amount of power gems that you create plus the amount plus the power gems that you upgrade to two ranks so and that gives you a bigger bang for your buck after the first activation, you'll only get the first part of the battle skill. You'll create earth, eight earth power gem sevens and increase earth slayer's attack by 100%. That's all you will get on activation of a battle skill after your first activation of this card. The protectors of prosperity, again, this one will increase earth slayer's attack by 200% for two turns and create five earth power gem sixes. On your first activation, it will increase Earth Slayer's attack by 2000% instead of 200%. After the first activation of a battle skill, you'll go right down to 200% and you'll create those five Earth Power Gem 6s. So you can see the massive drop in the power output of your deck after the first activation of all of these cards. Now this one will give you the same thing over and over and over again. It will create eight, 12 Earth Power Gem 7s and increases Earth Slayer's attack by 300% for one turn. That you will get on every activation of the battle skill of this card. So this card doesn't change after your first activation. After your first activation, it just keeps doing the same thing over and over again. But Protective Prosperity and Keepers of History, the power will go down because ambush you've lost the ambush and it's not like the improve uh, ambush which you get the same thing over and over as long as you go into a different wave up next is this combination this combination is a non-event combination it's not as powerful as the first 
three combination that I showcase. However, it is something that you could use. It's quite nice. Um, it's usable basically. It's something that you can use if you haven't got the current ultimate form. What you'll benefit from with this combination, sorry we've got the wrong combination, I need to change the combination so hopefully the boss isn't dead. This combination, let's go in with three keys again. So this combination, what you'll benefit from is that lovely nuke that comes from Ard One Gorillas? So Ard One Gorillas for me is one of the best damage dealer in the game. So we're gonna activate Keepers of History first, then Metaverse Master, and we go straight across to Ard One Gorillas, then Protectors of Prosperity, and last but not least, uh, the card that's giving us the killer skill. And this one will give us just over 2.9 quadrillion. And when you get the nuke damage, you'll get roughly about 15 quadrillion. We didn't get the nuke off and that's the pitfall to this combination. So we're gonna look at this combination a bit more in depth. Now this combination has got some weaknesses. So the weakness of this combination is you need two turns to do all your damage because hard one gorillas has got the attack the bonus attack that's where most of your damage will come from now the bonus attack buff on this card as i've explained um, many times before is actually multiplied by five when you use three keys so if you do say five quadrillion damage the nuke damage will give you 25 quadrillion if for any reason the boss dies before the nuke goes off, you won't do that damage. So that is the downfall to using this combination. So this combination, you're relying on Oberiel Overseers as the card that's going to give you the killer skill. It doesn't create a lot of power gems and it doesn't give you a lot of boost. So this one isn't going to be as powerful as the combinations before but if we had say a card that was giving us say seven or eight hundred percent attack increase or even five hundred percent damage increase our one gorillas would be, be able to do massive massive damage or if we had a card say a earth card within the earth slayer or uh, say the commander sphere that could constantly give us that upgrade or something to give us that lovely 2000% damage it would be quite lovely we could try using um we could try using the jailers with this combination however jailers will take away from the deck the ability to actually upgrade power gems create uh, those lovely power gems uh, created by keepers of history because that's the card that you would swap out so it's better not to use the jailers the combination is fine as it is it's uh quite a decent combination and it will give you anything between three quadrillion to five quadrillion damage and that translate when you get the nuke off to roughly about 15 quadrillion to 25 quadrillion damage this combination is uh, a bit different. This one is just like the first three combination that I showed you. Uh, however, it's a non-event combination and this one is focusing more on your immortal killer skill. However, it's quite slow. It's not lacking in power, but it is quite slow. So this one, um, if you haven't got anything else, it's a combination that's going to be quite frustrating because a lot of people are going to take the boss out before you you are able to get the, the, the battle skill of high performance unit area going. So high performance unit area needs approximately two turns before she gives you that lovely supercharge that she's known from for that will give you the 2500% attack increase. It takes a while and most of the decks right now are quite quick. Most of the decks are turn one decks anyway. So we're gonna try it out. We're gonna see if we can actually get any damage in using this combination so what you want to do on your first attack is once you've powered up all your earth cards activate metaverse master 
If you can't get uh, Metaverse Master's uh, battle skill to be activated on the first turn, activate it on the second turn, and then you activate uh, high performance unit area on the second turn. So now we're going to activate high performance unit area's battle skill, and the boss is dead. So you can see what I'm talking about that it will be quite frustrating using this combination because it's quite slow. It does take some time before you are able to deal any damage. So you probably have to do something like this so uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna lock the boss and i'm gonna demonstrate uh this deck with one of my bosses that's locked so that is the only way to benefit a lot from this combination you use it on one of your bosses that you've locked or you use it on one of those bosses that got really high health like your inferno bosses so now we're gonna go in we're gonna go in with three keys we're gonna see what this deck is able to do it's not extremely powerful, but it will give you really nice damage, especially if you've got the gems um, laid out in quite a nice layout. So first, as I said, try and get high performance unit areas battle skill powered up. Once it's powered up, you activate it on the turn before you get hit, which is the second turn. So it's activated now. We're gonna make a match. And on the turn that you're gonna do your main damage, always remember activate Keepers of History's battle skill first, then Metaverse Master, then Aberreal Overseers, and last but not least, you activate Protectors of Prosperity. The reason why you activate it in this way is to try to get a really nice layout. Now, we didn't get a nice layout on this turn, so the damage wasn't very high. However, your damage output though doesn't take that massive um, dip as it takes in the other combination because you still got that 2500% attack increase coming from our performance unit area, that 150 coming from Metaverse Master. So in that sense, you've got really um, quite a bit of of boost coming from those two cards you still got your your 200 percent coming from keep uh, protectors of prosperity which it's not a lot in the grand scheme of things but it is enough to do quite a decent amount of damage over a long period of time so we're gonna swap our power gems we've got four power gems loose we've got one point three billion let's see what that translates up to 925,000 now it can go up to far more than it's actually doing at the moment however as i said it depends on the layout of the power gems if you get the power gems in the right lay um if it's laid out the right way this deck can do probably round about 10 to 15 quadrillion damage but we're not getting the gems in the right layout as we would like so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do one more attack with this deck and then I'm going to move on to the, the next deck, that next combination that I've got for you. It's basically the same uh, combo you which uses one extra card, which is the current ultimate form, which focus again on the ability of immortal killer cards to do massive, massive damage. Now we've got four power gems loose again. We've got 2.4 work out to 1.8 quadrillion so we're not gonna continue with that combination because it's uh it's not doing what i actually want it to do it's a bit uh underpowered at the moment because we're not getting the power gems in the right layout so it's quite difficult quite frustrating but we're gonna try this combination which is the same combination However, we are using the current ultimate form, which should give us a bigger bang for our buck because we've got that 150% self, in, self damage increase coming from the current ultimate form. Again, you want to activate high performance unit areas battle skill on the second turn, just before you get hit. And as I said, the first card you want to activate is Keepers of History and the last card you want to activate is Protectors of Prosperity to see if we can get that nice layout of Power Gems on the board. So let's see if we get a nice layout of Power Gems. So we've got two loose Power, gem, power Gems on the board, 14, 
31.5 quadrillion for the current ultimate form so that one is a bit better however it's a quite slow combination so we're gonna quit that and then we're gonna move on to our final combination now the final combination that I've got for you is this one and this one is just if you haven't got metaverse master and um, if you haven't got say i performance unit area so you could use i performance unit area on this one if you haven't got protectors of prosperity or keepers of history or if you haven't got uh, terrors unleashed so this one all i need to do is go in it's a card that you don't um this uses a card that you don't need to power up so the dragoon on board will give you 100 percent damage to the first card to activate its battle skill it's 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 the passive so you don't really need to use to power up this card so the first card i'm going to activate is the current ultimate form so current ultimate form has now got 250 damage increase and all the other attack increase that comes from the other cards on board so it should do relatively decent damage 27 quadrillion that combination is quite nice quite quick however it's not the damage is not sustainable so it's not going to replicate that damage on every subsequent attack now that is the final combination I've got for you. So if you've got this Dragoon, you can put the Dragoon on board, but you don't need to use its battle skill because what you're primarily relying on is the passive. The passive Eagle Eye Advance gives you 100% damage buff to the first hero each turn to activate their battle skill. Quite a nice Dragoon to have at your disposal so those are the combination that i've got for you hopefully this combination gives you some idea of deck combination that you can use hopefully it help you guys out if it helps you guys help you guys out leave a like on the video and you can ask a question in the comment section below or you can find me on the network app all of these combination apart from the one using dragon you can find on the network app in the octane gaming chat so you can find me at Oct octane gaming on the network app i've got all the combination posted on board with the activation sequence and if you need to ask any question you can ask any questions there or you can find me on instagram or facebook i've got all the combination on instagram and also on facebook so you can find them there as well and you can Leave any comments uh, and ask any question there as well. So the, the way to find me on Facebook is just putting Octane Gaming or Instagram is the same thing at Octane Gaming. And on the network app, it is Octane Gaming as well. So until next time, when we do it again, uh, like, subscribe, and until then, peace and enjoy the event. Bye for now.